This is part three, right? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, this is, I think, three. She's telling me three, right? Yes. Yes, okay. So we're at this stage. We're going to go to this stage because the final stage is right here. So I'm going to put this one back aside. It's going to go a lot quicker. I'm actually getting two done at one time, and I will still leaves me seven and eight and then three extra ones to do. So to get to these next stages, and I want to show you as we go, we already did the seat structure and we have the lip back here. Um, so you're going to take, obviously, I know that you saw me pull those before, but I used them while well, my daughter did dishes. So um, here is that notch. These notches are essential in all of them. So you're going to use that notch. You're also going to take advantage of this notch right here on this next part, okay? So you're going to put hot glue, well, first of all, you want to make sure that the two that you're going to use are exactly, which this one is not, the same length. Because this is a vital backbone support piece. So I'm going to put those over. Some parts doesn't really matter if it's exact. Let me make a double check. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you're going to use this notch once again. You don't really want to go all up in there, but it ain't going to matter on this one. Because I'll end up eating, heating it off. So you're going to go in and you're going to use, again, that notch right there. And you're going to go in. And I know we're using a lot of hot glue. It's okay, peeps. You want to make sure it's nice and straight. And again, if you don't want to use, get your hands burnt, you're doing the wrong project. Though, I let it sit for a second. So now it's now in there nice and snug. And that is a backbone superior piece. And this is a vital piece for the next step. So we're going to do the other side. And I'll have just enough. I don't know if I like that. Let me see if I can turn it just a little bit. Yeah. I want to make, want to make absolute sure that it's straight. Um, so the next piece, if you see I'm going into the notch and doing a little above and doing that back piece back here to put in the next piece and using that notch once again. And you're going to make sure it's extremely straight. It's very important. And again, if you don't want your fingers burnt, you're in the wrong project. Though, I haven't really burnt my finger on this because by the time I get to it and get it centered down, it doesn't really burn me. Though, if you're using one of the ones that's um, cordless, yeah, yeah, with the big ones. So now you got those pieces structured, and that one's slightly off and drive me crazy. If it's slightly off, use your heat gun and heat it up just a little bit, or take it off, take the glue off. But the heat gun helps a lot. So it's going to drive me crazy. It's okay, I can fix it later. Um, so now that we got those pieces done, this is vital support for the back piece, and you'll see that you're going to need um, one for each side. And. Um, because I used the long ones on this one to make it taller. It's not going to fit normally most of the time. Um, and I'll show you this if I have another long one. If you were using all of the long ones, the big ones, uh, the next portion should fit directly like that. The way it's supposed to fit. Where it would lip right over this edge. And that's the perfect way. But because my dummy butt decided to use the big ones for the bottom... And thinking they were all the same, and I didn't notice that, it doesn't. So, I come up with another way to use structural support. And we need to put this piece on right here. And this is why you don't go over that edge when we were putting that support piece on. So, I flipped it. Some of you ladies that have been following me know that I did it the other way, but I'm flipping it this way because I found out it works better. So, this is where I need a new glue piece. Okay. So you're going to go in and you're going to put glue down to this part. And then you're going to cross over up to that edge and just to that edge because this is what's going to happen. You're going to stick the piece on and you're going to pull down underneath. You do not want to go over the arm. You do not want to go over the arm. It's important that you don't go over the arm because you're going to put another piece in there in a minute. So you're going to go in. I think the last time I counted it ranges depending on how you do this. So you're going to go and do the other side. 
And we're going to go, push this back in, just to this edge. Go down a little bit. If it's a little extra, it's okay. You'll fix it later when you melt off extra glue. And I'm going to put that aside. I don't want to get stuck using a big one and be wrong. Do not like messing up. Put your foot down. More comfortable. More comfortable. See, if you notice, it's right underneath. So now that piece is on. Now that's a structural piece that's going to help support. Okay, ladies and gents. This is bringing back old from back in the day and modernizing it. The old style was really ugly. Looked like a bird dinosaur head. And if you go to my pictorial on this, you would see that. So now that this is what you should see in the back. And this is now your support piece. It's all structurally sound. And the back part of the arm. Um, so now to get to the height part. So we've already started the height. We're going to go in. I'm going to pull out some more. And now I want to show you something that's very... Well, no, I'll get to that. We're going to put some more height to this. So we're going to start going up on the side. So this is where you're going to put in some glue right over that structural corner. And you're going to go right up the side. And you're going to squeeze it and you're going to try to get it completely level. And if you have to arch it back a little bit, arch it back a little bit because the, the chair is going to arch anyway. But you want it completely level with this piece right here. If you glue squirts in a lot on the inside, I wouldn't worry about it because nobody's going to see the inside because we're forming the pocket now. And this is for design two. This is not my original design. This is my second design, my redesign, um, to give more use. So now we got one height. You just repeat to the other side. Shut up, Roxy. Roxy's doing that barking move. So again, you're going to see where all these structures right here that I'm putting hot glue. She has been in a parking mood today, driving us crazy. So, again, we are making sure it's solid in the back. Yeah, I tend to have a lot of glue around, lots of little pieces of glue. And if you look, it's going to line up perfectly and it's going to cover all those nooks and crannies and make a solid piece right here. So now you have your height. So we are getting there, guys. It's almost there. Hello, they're all excited because I said that I was going to go ahead and just record it. So there it is. Now everything else starts to fall in place pretty actually easy. Now here is a piece that I want to show you that you do not want to do. You do not, because we're going to start making the pocket, you do not want to put it this way. If you do it this way, you won't be able to put anything in the pocket. So you have to flip it the other way. And unfortunately, this is what happens when you do it this way. If you go this way, you can... The problem, once again, if you do it this way, is going to, you know, make a teeny weeny little sliver of a pocket. But when you do the opposite, it's actually going to make it off a little bit. But when you start decorating it and you paint it, that it doesn't, you know, you won't see it. That's why you decorate it. So, are we good? Okay, well, let's see if we can get to this next part. Okay, so you're going to put glue on both sides of the structure right at the edges and it doesn't matter which way you start because this is now going to make the pocket form and it sits for just a second and if you guys see I'm always constantly pulling off extra our glue and then you're going to go to the back and do the opposite if you notice right here it's here and thin part here you're going to do the opposite and do the fat and the skinny and we're going to stop there, so when we get to the next part on part four, you're going to see how we go up and then put the rest of the pieces in.